Hi everyone, it's me Gaming2, and today I decided to sort of give my opinion on my own plush series, Gaming2 Plush. And I'm not going to do every single episode in one video because that would probably take a little too long since I have over 50 episodes. So I'm going to be reviewing these episodes by eras. The first era, which I'd consider to be the beginning era, which consists of Bowser's in the Basement through GD Plush the Movie Part 1. All these episodes were towards the beginning of the series, and that's why I consider it that. And then the second era, which is the testing era, which is where I tested out a lot of content to see if... I liked it or people liked it and I think it was kind of mixed. That would be um, probably the remainder of season one. And then the third era I think is the dark era even though it's not terrible. I think it is the weakest era of Gaming Do Plush. That would be a majority of season two. And then the fourth episode not episode, um, era I'd consider to be the Renaissance era, which is the remainder of season two to right now, which the newest episode as of recording is Woody's birthday, but I have an episode planned to record tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be called, but all I know is it's probably actually going to be a Mario-centered episode. But yeah... Because we haven't actually had a Mario as the absolute main character episode in a while. So I think we're going to make it that. And Woody will maybe be more of a side character in that episode. But we'll talk more about that later. First, we're going to review the first episode, Bowser's in the Basement. I really like this episode. This episode kind of had some production hell, though. I had to record this one scene, which... That one scene was when we first went down to the basement and we saw, like, the computer and Bowser, Mario and Luigi sort of, sort of thought Bowser was rich or something. That scene, I had to make, like, ten takes of that scene because Clover would not stop barking. And if you don't know who Clover is, that's Husky Puppy. She would not stop barking for anything. So it took me like 10 takes to finally get that scene filmed. I think it took like 3 or 4 takes when they actually locked up Bowser in the closet. But I think this is a good start. Not a perfect start because honestly I think it is very predictable. With how you know Mario and Luigi are going to save Peach. But... I think it is a good start. I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Next, we get the start. We get the start of my signature character, Woody. Everyone basically knows Woody is sort of the main character of GD Plush, not Mario. Even though he is said to be the main character, the main character is basically Woody, or the main focus is basically Woody. And the second episode of the series is actually the star of Woody. Which, I don't think it's perfect, honestly. I think the arguing and the effects of this episode are really, really, really bad looking. Like, the blood effects in this episode, which... This is the first episode to sort of use blood effects, and I thought it was terrible. I basically used glue and, like, red paper and pasted it as, like, scars and stuff like that. And now that I look back on it, I think I didn't do a good job on that. I think I got better with the blood effects later. So, honestly, I think this is around a 6 because I do think the ending is a cool ending that Mario lets Woody stay in his house. And they become great friends later on. So, I can't give it any higher than a 6, though. Because, honestly, I feel like it doesn't look all that well. But, 
Yeah. All right, the magical fidget spinner. Despite the cringe I think fidget spinners are now, I can truly say this is one of the funniest episodes of the series. Just, it's almost like a genie, which I'm thinking of possibly doing a genie episode later in the future. If I can find a magic lamp anywhere, I'm thinking of maybe doing a genie episode. But for now, this is the closest we're going to get. And it was really funny. My favorite joke was the joke where Luigi got a girl. It was really funny. And then the way they destroyed the fidget spinners, they flushed it down the toilet, which was sort of a recycled joke in a later episode, a much later episode, which is one of my most recent episodes called Slime. But I think this is a really funny episode, and it is probably the best episode so far that I've reviewed. That's why I give it a 9 out of 10. I think this is a really funny episode. Then we got Sonic Fast, which... Honestly, I feel is kind of mediocre. Probably the weakest episode so far, because... While this is the introduction of Bart Simpson which I think is one of my most iconic characters and funniest characters, I still feel like that it is a typical sort of underdog sports episode where the better sports guy makes fun of the weakling and then the weakling has the train and... I like the twist where Woody actually lost, but I think that's been done before, so I honestly can say it is a pretty cliche episode, and that's why I can't really consider it great, necessarily, but while I give this probably a 5 out of 10, the next episode, I didn't like at all. I downright consider this a bad episode. Luigi's Girlfriend is an episode that took probably even more cliches than Sonic Fast, and I'll tell you this, I like this episode more than I did back in 2017 when I first made this episode. I fucking hated this episode back in 2017. But I don't have a burning hatred for this episode anymore. I just see this as a big misstep. Because I kind of think Peach is full of herself. And while she is much better than she is now. Which, spoiler, Peach is my least favorite character to use. Because she's just kind of a bitch, honestly. I still think this is an episode which is... A very big misstep. I'd give this probably a 4.5 out of 10. Luigi's Mansion Episode 1. This series has gone nowhere, has it, guys? And that's because... I'd still probably give this a 7 out of 10. I think this is the best Luigi's Mansion episode. It is very creepy. I think it does the horror aspect very well. But there are a couple problems I have with this episode. First of all, the masks are so freaking fake looking, it's not even funny. And I don't really like the villain necessarily. It's just a big cutout of the guy from Supernatural. And honestly, if I do remake this series, I'd rather have it like... Maybe Boo's the main antagonist or something. And not Boo from Monsters, Inc. I mean King Boo or something from Luigi's Mansion, the actual game. And, yeah. I would still consider this a good episode for a very, very, very well put together horror atmosphere. But I'd still consider this not perfect because the villain isn't that good. Then... We get, in my opinion, the absolute best episode of the entire series, Rich Woody. Which, I think this is the third Woody video, actually, ever. And, 
It is a great third Woody video. It's It shows that Woody is not just a perfect guy. He is flawed because he wins the lottery, but he spends it recklessly. And it teaches a perfect lesson that if you ever become rich, you need to save your money. The lesson in the Rich Woody videos are all good even though I'm not quite as big of a fan as the later two. But this is the best episode of the entire series, in my opinion, because it teaches a perfect lesson. It's funny. It's probably my favorite Bart Simpson appearance to date. And it's just a perfect episode. Absolute 10 out of 10 for me. I'm not trying to be a snob by saying that my episodes are perfect because they are not. They're very low quality, but I gotta admit, this is a great episode. Then we got Mario's Pet, which is probably my second favorite so far, but I start to see some of the testing era elements started here. Like, it got a little more inappropriate for kids than it used to be, like... This is where it sort of started to become more of a teenager adult series than a kid series. Even though it wasn't really that kid friendly in the first place. Like this is more of a TV 14 show than like a TVG show. Because there are adult elements to my episodes. Just a warning for kids. I wouldn't really suggest to watch this series. But yeah. Yeah. This episode was really funny and introduced Salad, who, rest in peace, is currently dead in the series. Um, is a really funny character, especially in this episode. The Donkey Kong reference, the Planet of the Apes reference. This just, this is a really funny episode that I'd give a 9 out of 10 to. But my only problem is the perverted scene in this episode was kind of cringeworthy. But this episode has the funniest scene in the entire series for me. It is when Salad drops the weight on Woody's head and he makes that wretched death sound. I laugh every time I freaking see that scene. This episode is so funny. Then we got Detective Mario, which... I started to see even more elements of the testing era here, but this is a classic episode that, once again, I'll say is probably even better than Mario's Pet. So, what if I had to pick a problem with this episode, what would it be? Convicting Luigi wasn't really right. I feel like Mario should have been the one to go to jail, but this is a really funny, great mystery episode about Mario trying to find clues to find his toothbrush, which I think that was referenced in a recent episode. I would definitely reference it if I didn't, but this is a classic GD plush episode. I think the episodes from Rich Woody to GD Plus the Movie Part 1 are the best episodes of the series. Then we got Luigi's Mansion Episode 2, which I think kind of breaks from that great slew of episodes. Then going on right to my second favorite episode of the series. Um, but this is a good episode... But I don't think it's as good as the first Luigi's Mansion. It's like, I'd say my big complaint with this episode is definitely the peach saving scenes were kind of mediocre. I feel like the blood effects were done a little tiny bit better in episode one. And it just didn't feel as scary as episode 1. So I'd probably give this a 6.5 out of 10. The last episode for the era, I'd say, and the last episode we're going to review in this episode are is GD Plush the Movie Part 1. 
which is my second favorite episode of the series and probably one of only three or four episodes I give an absolute 10 to. Yes, there are a couple scenes where I fucked up big time, like where the screen is fucking sideways and everything. That's screwed up. But there is so the plot in general in the adventure is the best adventure these characters will ever go on and has probably been the best they've ever went on so far. It's just they got to travel all the way by foot to Virginia. Which is about probably eight hours by car to my destination I went to. Imagine that on foot. That wouldn't be a good walk in my opinion. I could probably walk to my next town at most, but that's about it. And that's about it for this review. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10 episode and gaming do here. See you later. Bye.